Greetings, programs. It's time to serve on the game grid. Apparently, this is now a Tron theme stream. Who freaking knew? Uh, I am delighted to be here. I am, as always, Isa for K Squirrel Moggington. The K is for Koopo. And, uh, I am made of streaming, and I'm doing adventure game things. Join me, won't you? Because, uh, we're about to get back to the longest journey, which is a video game about April Ryan, and she is having a hard time. And that's relatable to me. But, uh, it's definitely going to be a thing because we have a quest. We have sort of a questy sort of thing that... Uh... Okay, look, we gotta arrange some crystals, and I'm not sure how to do that. I have been mentally turning that one over in my head. I've been rotating that in my head, you might say. Much like I am rotating the crystals. Except the crystals are not getting rotated. Because, because I can't solve this puzzle, and I'm, I'm not sure... Quite what to do. So what I'm going to do, because it's been a week, and because I'm tired of it having been a week, and, like, I'm stalled out a little bit, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cheat. <laughs> I want to cheat outrageously. Uh, I'm going to try a few things. I'm going to try to figure out the puzzle organically, like... I think I have a couple of ideas. I'm not sure if those ideas are going to work, but I've got the ideas. And uh, because I have the ideas, I am going to sort of uh, try them. And if they don't work, then screw me. I am just going to have to turn to the Universal Hint System. Uh, the Universal Hint System is a revealer for hints. You push a little button and it tells you the hint, and if, uh, if you're not satisfied or you don't know what it's talking about, you push the little button again and it tells you another hint, and you keep doing that until you know what you're doing or until it has solved it for you. Uh, I'm gonna turn to that if I have to. Hopefully I won't have to. But, uh big believer in if you can't solve a puzzle, you should just, like, get married to game facts for a little while. And, uh, I'm good with that. Yeah. So we're gonna, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna use our our genius internet powers to solve this solve this issue. That's how it works. The internet is a genius, and if need be, we will turn to it for advice. Now, it used to be uh, that the internet could solve any problem for you. However, with the rise of AI-generated web pages, the internet can unfortunately only solve 50% of problems for you, and it can only solve those problems for you if the problems were not already generated by the internet. So, that will be rough, but... This particular problem was not generated by the internet. It was generated by a game designer. And so it is exactly the kind of problem that the internet is designed to solve. And we're going to we're going to see if uh, maybe the universal hidden system will help. Uh but first I'm going to have a real try at it, you know. I think I I owe this puzzle another genuine run up up run up onto it. I'm just going to run up onto it and I'm going to jump up and down. And if that doesn't solve it, then... Who? Oh. <laughs> uh, hello, Say. I am doing my, uh, my, my pre-stream ramble. You may have noticed. But I am delightedly looking at... Holy shit. I, uh, just discovered that my video game controller can control the mouse pointer. In the longest journey. This changes absolutely nothing, but it's kind of cool. If I don't want to point and click, I can mouse cursor and click. It's the same thing, isn't it? It's the same bloody thing. 
Anyway, um, yeah. It has gone 3 o'clock, and that is the faded hour, so we switched to the longest journey. It's right over here. I swapped to it. Uh, derp, derp. Here it is. Continue the journey. Now I gotta figure out which one. It was this one, wasn't it? It was this one, Chapter 7. I can tell because these are all Chapter 5, and this one's Chapter 7. Okay, okay, okay. So, we were uh, in the process trying to figure out this stone altar. And we take these crystals. Uh, you will be seeing the stream before leaving for your work shit. Well, that's good. Heck yeah, sure. Uh, as long as the stream isn't two hours of this, it will be fine. I'm worried it's going to be two hours of this. Okay, so my first thought, thought number one, was let's head back to the Merc Queen lady person and uh, talk to her. Let's, let's thrust these crystals at her and see what happens. Because maybe she can explain this. I don't know why she would explain this to me. But we can try and see if she'll explain it. Whoa, it's the April. Substance called Tamian. Whoa, April, what the hell? It's the precious substance called Tamian. Oh, right, right. Her voice is off. Fucky, because she's underwater. I thought the game was running in, like, fast forward for a minute. Can we talk for a minute? Yes, Gatherer. We may. Uh, Tenyan, where did you say I could find the ship? Okay. Thanks for your time. Uh, I'm gonna try clicking the crystals on her directly. Ever. Like, can you tell me anything about this? Where did you find the crystal again? Among the seaweed by the rocks, not far from the Landwalker's bubble. Hi, underwater. Yes, thank you for those important messages. Oh, no. Oh no, she's got nothing to say about these. Well, that was my first thought, and it's a bust. So let's go back to the cave entrance. Um, yeah, Lisa Queen is very polite about enslaving me. Like, I don't mind being enslaved by a merlady queen. This ring is inscribed with the image of a clay pot. All right, there's a clay pot. There's a, uh... This ring is inscribed with the image of a merum. There's a merum. Which I've rotated over here. There's a bird. And there's a fire. Now the clay pot Stop. ring doesn't rotate. I don't think it's supposed to move. Under the waves, deep down below, where the evil ones won't dare to go. Under the waves, the deep dark blue, where crystal puzzles will find you. I have no idea what uh, cadence that was supposed to be sung to, and I don't care. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's shove these crystals in some sockets and see if we can't figure some shit out. Uh, whoop, no, I picked it up. I picked it up. I picked it up. Alright, this is the third crystal. Let's put that here. Alright, what's on these sides? Triangle. Spear. Okay, I feel like what we need is to have the things facing the other things. Because that feels correct, objectively. And I don't know. So, like, yeah. And then here would be a pyramid. Like, uh, like this one. Alright, and there's a pyramid there. And then across, there's... Uh, this has to be a pyramid. 
All right, so like that, that feels correct, but I don't know like what I'm supposed to do with the ring. Um, the harpoon goes to the clay pot. Like that it's is stuck. locked in. I don't think it's supposed to move, harpoon. Okay. What, what is this one again? That's the mer people. I have to remember what's on the other side so I know. No, I, I don't feel like I do. I honestly don't. Yeah, like this is this points to the water. This is fine. Uh, this also this doesn't point to the water. Uh, fuck. But I can't worry about it though, cause. You know what? I'm I'm using the hint system. I officially give up on this puzzle. So, uh, you guys get to hear me read clues. Also, thank you for the subscriptions, uh, Selene, I, Selene and Company. I, I totally blanked on the fact that you, uh, that you did that. As soon as I saw song lyrics, I just became an idiot. I started singing. Alright, I'm in chapter 7. Um, the stone altar. What should I do with the rings? The idea here is to match things that belong together. Match things that belong together. Uh, like the clay pot and the harpoon? Clay pot, fish, harpoon. Alright, that makes, that makes a kind of sense. Uh, a pyramid. One-eyed pyramid. Clay pot and fire? No, you can't actually, uh... Like, like that? No, I don't think that can't be what they mean, can it? Like, how would this? If the bird would match the eye, the overseeing eye, then because birds are above the water and uh, mer people are in the water, and you grill fish. We good? No? Okay, I'm good. Can you say one thing? Okay? Say a thing. What is the thing that you will say? In the meantime, I'm going to read hint two. Like salt and pepper, bed and breakfast, apples and pears, cat and mouse, Dharma and Greg. You get the idea. Did I mention most universal hint system things from written in the 90s? Look carefully at each of the crystals as an item. It's one of the two crystals I found inside the abandoned cave. Okay. It's one of the two crystals I found inside the abandoned cave. Okay. Uh, gotta rotate this one again. It's the crystal I found among the seaweed. All right. Okay. It's the crystal I took from the Marion's home. Okay. No. <laughs> Every crystal has three so Yes, they do. They do have three symbols on it. But I can't really worry about, like, what's out of sight. Because, like... I don't know. I just gotta... I can't... The Marian symbol of the crystal I got from Marian's home. Ah, uh, maybe? 
But I didn't get anything from fire or birds. If, anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and read the solution. Or read through the hints until it tells me the solution. Because I'm very tired of being stuck here. Can I lick the rocks? No. If one of the four positions were salt and one of the rings were pepper, you would have to move the pepper around until it's on the same side as the salt. Okay, that's not really matching things that belong to That's more matching things that are opposite, but I kind of get the idea. And it automatically does it with the harpoon and... It's stuck. I don't think it's supposed to move. Clay jar. So that's really just telling me more information than I already knew. Can I drink the spiders? Uh, I don't seem to have the spider jar. Do you want the solution? Well, um, not really. Okay, how should I position the crystals? Here's a different question that I might need the answer to. Notice that there are three symbols on each crystal. Uh-huh. The altar has four slots where you can place the crystals. Yeah, you are just describing the puzzle to me. The symbols on the crystals are the same as the ones on the front of each of the slots. Also true. You need to match the symbols on the crystal with the symbols on the slots. Uh, well... Really? Alright. Let's try and do that, then. Although... Presumably it also has to be- have... parts that face the other ones. So not this one. Okay, they're numbered. This is the third crystal. What does the third crystal- God damn it. What does the third crystal have on it? Harpoon, Waves, Pyramid. This is the second crystal. Doesn't line up. This is the first crystal, confusingly. Okay, this one does line up. Uh, this one, this side would be wrong, though. And this one doesn't have the ability. Okay. So, uh, I, I literally cannot make them all face each other. Any configuration where all four of them match their same... Alright, let's try that. The second crystal was correct, you just didn't turn it the right way. Mm. I... Uh, no. Alright, I will, uh... That one is fish. So I need to turn it so that the fish is that way. And this one is water. So I need to turn it so that the water is that way. And then, uh... Fish. Fish. Ah, there it is. What? This ring is inscribed with the image of a bird. What? That solved it? Why? Why the fuck did that... Fish don't go with birds? What are the other two? Uh, Merum and an eyeball. And fire and water. 
So you wanted the opposite. You didn't actually want things that go together. You wanted the opposite. What the fuck is a harpoon? What? Hold on, I'm slipping down to read the, uh... Uh-huh, the rest of the... The merman goes with one-eyed pyramid, the bird goes with the fish, fire goes with the water, the pot goes with the harpoon. This puzzle was bullshit. I, I don't get it at all. Uh, also... I'm wet. Congratulations, April. Um... Well, I can't move anything. Swap the bottom two around. Uh, what's it supposed... What number is it supposed to be? What number of crystal? Uh... Third crystal should be in the bottom left, you say? Second crystal. That's the first and second crystal. Uh... Alright, third crystal should be in the bottom left. Alright. No, wait. But that wouldn't make sense. This ring is inscribed with the image of Amira. Yeah, uh, I'm not getting the crystal thing, actually. You're, you're losing track of it. Then don't try to help! Please, if you don't know what you're doing, don't help! Alright, this looks right, because this go this side points to the fish, this side points to the harpoon. Uh one crystal has harpoon wave mountain on it. Yeah, it's this one. It is this one. I don't know which one it is. Uh, by process of elimination. Four, three, two. It's first crystal that has that. Alright. Harpoon, uh... wave, mountain, but this is the wrong way. This one's the wrong way around. Oh. Oh, okay. Okay. So, again, first crystal. I think that one has to be in the bottom left, then. No, that can't be right. First crystal is in the bottom right. Alright, let's work from here. Let's work this way. Top right. Ah. Uh, no, not right. So that is fourth. Well, that it keeps renumbering them. Each crystal has one symbol that isn't on it, and each pedestal can't see one symbol. Yes, that's true. But it's really hard to tell when they're in my inventory, and I have to keep picking them up. 
and it keeps fucking renumbering them like every time I pick them up. Or reordering them in my inventory every time I pick them up. Right, so fourth crystal doesn't have the harpoon on it. Fine. Cool. Second crystal does have the harpoon on it. I can't get across to the fish. That by process of elimination. That should make the correct one the... But it's the wrong way away. By process of elimination, that should have been it, and it isn't, and, uh, it's giving me a headache. See, this is why I, uh, I let this game sit for, like, a month, or a week. That crystal looks like it's flipped. Uh, what does that mean? No, no, that's the fourth crystal. The way those symbols are arranged makes no sense. Yeah. Yeah, I've, I've noticed. Um... I looked at a solution and that doesn't even have the numbers correct for the crystals you have. I'm I'm looking at the solution right now. I'm going to put the uh, crystals in in the order this solution says and I'm going to see if it works. So I'm going to do that. One moment. Crystal 1, lower right. All right, bottom right. I rotate it. Okay. Crystal 2, upper left. I rotate it. Okay. Crystal 3, upper right. There's a slot here, goddammit. There we go. I'm, I'm going to take your word for it. I'm going to take your word for it. Crystal four. You don't need to worry about what side, what symbol is on the side facing away from the altar. That's what it says. You do not need to worry about what symbol is on the side facing away from the altar. So you all, we all got red herringed, is what happened here. This puzzle was very slightly poorly designed in an asymmetrical way that made us think it had to be symmetrical. And that's where all of us got stuck. Crystals on the altar light up the entire cave. I, I can tell. No, the puzzle is not deliberately trolly. It's just poorly designed. It's just poor design. Don't attribute to malice what can be adequately explained by stupidity. Why would you design a puzzle like this? Because they're thinking that you will just think about what you can... April, honey, don't zoom into the camera. Because they're thinking that you will just look at what you can see. You will disregard the information that is facing away from you. Because it's not important. I can understand it. I don't like it. 
but I can understand it. It's designed purely for a two-dimensional adventure game. The moment you introduce 3D to the equation, the moment you start trying to think about it in a 3D space, it falls apart. But you don't have to do that. And uh, I understand it, but I don't like it. We just got red herringed. So let's save. You can see the back side of the bottom left person, but that side specifically doesn't matter. <sighs> so this puzzle solved. Let's take a look around at what it revealed. It's a circular indentation framed with the image of two dragons biting each other's tails. Almost exactly like the markings on my talisman. I bite dragon tails all the time. It doesn't help. Alright, just like the markings on your talisman, which you don't have anymore, because it was in a locked box and you... It looks like some kind of visual history of the Marum people. Neat. Are you gonna read According it? According to this first tablet... Oh my god! It turns out the Marum came to Earth inside a type of spaceship from another planet. They're aliens? Not that anything should surprise me at this point, but still. They look very different back then, though. It must have been a long time ago. Their ship looks to have been a living thing, according to these drawings. Wait a minute. Could this be their ancient god, one of the dragons? I think it has to be. After they arrived on Earth, their species divided in two. One crawled into the sea, the other onto land. What does that mean? This must be a while later, because the Marum look like they do today. At least, the ones who went into the sea do. The other ones? They have wings. If I'm going to guess, I'd say that the ones who went to live on land became the Alation, which means the Marum and Alation are related. In this one, they're living close to each other and in peace. And it seems they share equally in the production of Tan Yen, which attracts fish for both peoples to eat. Maple sure became happens. an expert. Or, it looks like, and the Marum and Alation move away from each other. Maple sure became an expert on reading these runes. Tan Yen is beginning to become scarce, and the Marum are losing many of their young ones to the Snapjaw. They fear the elation, and they forget their common heritage. At the very end, there's a prophecy, I think. The Marum and the elation joining hands once again. When they do, Tanyan becomes plentiful and both people prosper. Well, we have the barest suggestion of a dragon, so... That's all the dragon alert you're getting. Any specifically Earth-centric tale thing? I mean, why? Why not? Why not combine everything? Why not just go in for it? All right. Well, let's go talk to. Uh... Let's go talk to the mailroom leader and see if she cares that she's descended from dragons or whatever. Speaking of dragons, hello, Kelvin. Can we talk for a minute? Yes, Gatherer. We may. Why was the cave with the altar and the wall painting just outside the city abandoned? What? Show us this cave. Immediately. Okay, they'll care. Yo, we teleported. Very nice. I 
I lit the cave by placing the crystal from your palace, together with three more crystals I found on the altar, and moving the stone rings into their correct positions. Can it be that you are... But you are a gatherer. You cannot be she. Oh, who can't I be? I be she. The water stiller. She who, by prophecy, will deliver us from strife and unite us as one people. She who will uncover the ancient shrine. No, I guess nobody ever checked. Looks pretty ancient to me. This is the shrine, yes. And you have brought light to the darkness as well. But the other prophecies, you have not fulfilled them. Oh, give me a you minute. You have not proven yourself to be the water stiller yet. What the fucking got here? How can I do that? Come back with us, and we will tell you. Honestly, I just got here. I, of course I can't fulfill every prophecy inside like ten minutes. Who is the water stiller? She is of the prophecies. She will bring an end to strife and unite our people. How can I prove that I'm the water stiller? You have uncovered the ancient shrine and brought light to the darkness. But this could be just chance. I you worked on that! the witness you carry of your mission to the balance. The talisman! Damn, I lost it when the storm hit us! You must also kill a snapjaw with a spear. And then you will have proven yourself to us. Once you have done this, we will aid you in your quest to make us one people. Where do I begin? Take this spear and slaughter a snapjaw. This must be done to prove your strength, and to prove you are of the Miram. Where do I find the snapjaw? If you are the water stiller, you will find a way. Yeah, it's a checklist. Like, you know, if you want to prove that you're the, the the fated hero who's gonna save the day, and suddenly I became Southern for no reason. Uh, if you want to prove that, you're just gonna have to solve all the quests on our quest list. This isn't a prophecy. It's World of Warcraft. Oh, cool! April gets a uh, animation for swimming with that. That's neat. <sighs> okay, well, let's, uh... There's a shipwreck. We know where the shipwreck is. The and snap there are the snapjaws. Waiting for me to get close enough to attack. Do we just kamikaze this shit, or... Get in there and stab it, April. Oh man, I can't do that. Um, it's dead. I killed it. Oh. Well, that was easy. Uh, I need something to bring back to prove that I killed the snapjaw. Or just grab it by the tail and tow, tow it home. It's not that far. This tooth will do just fine. Oh man, that's sharp. I had no idea Snapjaw had razor teeth. If I did, better not think about that now. <laughs> Amazing achievement in ignorance. Um, did I just show the Snapjaw my spear? What it looked like happened was April swam up and like held the spear out horizontally and the snapjaw did this like tremendous dance routine like you know dance off you and me Ugh. and then it abruptly had a heart attack and died <laughs> Just, i am completely at a loss oh look it's my talisman it's my talisman what incredible luck! So there's this... I don't know, I want to not pick that up for a sec. I want to swim. Yeah, stay to the side, April. I want to talk. Okay, so there's this scene 
in a colossal cave adventure, one of the earliest text adventures, where you encounter a dragon and you have no weapon. And, you know, the dragon is all like, rawr, grr, I breathe fire and eat you. Which, you know, fair game. That's fair. But you have to slay the dragon to get past. And so you eventually, in frustration, after you're done looking for a sword, you may type kill dragon. And the game will snarkily respond with what? Your bare hands? And if you type yes, then it's like, okay, the dragon is dead. And that's how I feel about that spear sequence. I did not, honest, I expected to have to solve a puzzle. I expected to, uh, there to be a complication of some kind. And instead, um, uh, what happened was I took the spear and I clicked the spear on it and it died. And I am left here like, man, that was anticlimactic. The game feels bad. Because I solved the puzzle. Like, it's apologizing. Okay, let's... Let's go. I got the talisman. I got the... I got a, I got a tooth. The whole tooth. And uh, nothing but the tooth. Uh, before I swing in to... Talk to, like, Captain the ASMR lady. I'm gonna go, uh, wave my talisman at the, um, at that one part of the thing that looks like the talisman. So is, is this re does the talisman really, like, have two dragons biting each other on the ass? It's the talisman of the balance. I mean, I can't really, I'm squinting at it and I can't really tell. Alright, what does this do? Uh... What did that do? It's a small niche containing what appears to be a shard of a stone. Why do you have to come over here and tell me that, April? Just go pick it up. It's a piece of the stone disc! No, wait. It's only one half of a piece. It looks like it's been divided in two. Strange. Oh, well, shit. We got... It's one half of one of the four pieces of the stone disc. I got this from the Temple Cave of the Merum. We got one-eighth of the pieces that we're supposed to be collecting. That's great. I guess. It's the sharp fang from a snap jaws, uh, jaw. Okay. We're just, we're swimming now. We're really, we're taking a deep dive into solving puzzles and. Hey, ma'am, you want a sharp object? There's a tooth from the dreaded snap jaw that guarded the shipwreck. Proof of my strength and courage. You have fulfilled that part of the prophecy. If you fulfill the rest, we will acknowledge you as the water stiller. Hey, is stilling water a good thing? Like, isn't, doesn't that make it stagnant? Here's proof of my mission. A magical talisman with the sign of the balance. It means that I'm the 13th guardian of the balance. You have fulfilled that part of the prophecy. If you fulfill the rest, we will acknowledge you as the water stiller. What rest? Uh, you have fulfilled the prophecy. Please report to the Aperture Science Greeting Room for cake. I've taken from you the object you've kept hidden for generations. It's part of the disc that will restore the balance and save the twin worlds from chaos. You have indeed fulfilled all but one of the prophecies. You might yet be the water stiller. We would not have thought she would come in our lifetime. Good. Then you'll take me to your sleeping god. 
There is but one more prophecy you must fulfill. There's more? Sure, there's always more. That's the fun part about prophecies. You must unite our people once again. But you said you were united, that there's no strife between Miram. The Water Stiller will come to bring our people together again, to unite us and save us. This has still not come to pass. Until you do so, the prophecies of the Water Stiller have not fully come right, to pass. Right, okay, that means that I gotta go up on land and bring the wingy guys down. No. How am I going to do that? I'll bring them down now. I'll bring them down, 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 down. To say hey. Can I tell her about that part of the drawings? Um... Like, in theory, she should have seen it when she came in the cave and, 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 like, looked at them with her face. But sure, let's go talk to her again. Ask her how we do this. Like, the Aram and the Marum gotta get down. I think I know now what the prophecies mean when they say your people will be reunited. The Merrow are at peace with each other, yes? But you're not at peace with the Elation, the Wind Demons. They are our enemies. Right now they might be, but it wasn't always like that. Not according to the carvings in the Temple Cave. What do you mean? Once upon a time, long ago, the Miram and the Elation were one people. What? This is heresy. I'm just telling you what I saw in your temple. This was a very long time ago, and the one species soon divided in two. One sought refuge in the sea, the other on the winds. But both the Miram and the Elation were dependent on the other for various reasons, amongst them Ten Yen, which was abundant where the two people lived in close proximity to each other. Apparently, there was peace between your two people for a very long time, but then something happened, something that caused a war to break out. Both the Elation and the Mira moved far away from each other, and ever since then, your people have had a tough time finding Tan Yen. I think the only way to save the Mira from a slow death, and the Elation as well probably, is to reconcile you with your, uh, common ancestry. How can we believe you, Water Stiller? Your words are too outrageous, and the consequences, were you to be speaking the truth, are grave. If you don't believe me, check out the temple walls. The whole story has been recorded there, probably when you first came to this place. But what will our people say? What will they think when we tell them they are brothers and sisters to the winged demons? You're their queen. And so you'll have to make them understand, and accept that their problem. heritage. As must the elation, I expect. And I don't think it will be any easier for them to come to terms with their history. You must go to them, then, to find if our temple speaks the truth. And if they are willing to speak with us like civilized people. I guess I must. Water seller or not. If you don't reunite with them, you will die. Eventually. Everybody dies we will eventually. Bring you to the shores of their closest island, and we will await word from you on their answer. Does this mean you believe me? You are the water stiller. You are prophecy. We will follow your directions and fulfill our destiny. One of our people will bring you to Aleus, a night's journey from here. Once there, you will find the Elation and speak with their leaders. If they agree to meet, then we will do so in a place of your choosing. I promise I'll do my best. Goodbye. Safe journey, Water Stiller.
we will hold on to the piece of the disc you found in the temple. If the wing demons, the elation, agree to meet us, we will bring the stone. I wish I could write a prophecy that somebody else would show up and do a whole bunch of shit for me. And then it would come true. And have somebody who did a whole bunch of shit for me. Cool. Okay, well, let's uh, save. Because progress. Also, isn't it great that, you know, we as, like, a rando girl from another world get to stop in and just solve all of everybody's problems and tell them about their own history. I don't know what this is and I'm scared. Welcome to the longest journey. It's a point and click adventure. It's considered one of the uh, classics of the genre. One of the finest that adventure gaming has to offer. Uh, so far... Uh, kinda? It has ideas. I'll give it that. There's a coil of rope among the debris. So you were right to be scared. If adventure gaming scares you, then, uh, you're on the wrong channel. I'm sorry. Emerald green and clear as the morning sky. That's perfect holiday water. All right. I'd get lost if I just wander off into the jungle with no idea what the island looks like or where I'm heading. Okay, well, um, there's debris just some... from another capsized ship. These must be dangerous waters. These must be dangerous waters, she said. Or maybe some, you know, psycho with an axe hacked a hole in the ship. April. It's April. She hacked a hole in the ship she was sailing in. It was hilarious and dumb. Let's go explore in a random direction. Oh, hi. Big crab. Giant enemy crab. Some kind of giant crab. Sounds like the poor thing's in a lot of pain. Yeah, the shell does look way too tight. Maybe he's outgrown it but can't shed it. Or whatever it's called. Sounds like the poor thing's in a lot of pain. Okay, yeah, well, the he shell can't does look way too shed tight. His shell. Maybe he's outgrown it but can't what shed would it. That... Or whatever it's called. Hmm. What if I use the light of the leaf potion or no? Okay. Um, what if I talk can I talk I'll to it? Just take a shot here and ask you. Is there any chance you speak like a real language? Like um Arcadian or English? Okay. Now is there some kind of magic I have to learn or potion I have to drink or eat or ingest in some way to learn your language? Because that's usually how it goes. No? Too bad, although I'm glad I don't have to draw blood or swallow a stone or something. Can't help but feel that you're asking me for help, though. It's the strangest thing. After all, you're just clicking your claws, aren't you? It's not as if you're really talking, is it? Yeah, what do you mean, real life? April is, like, one step away from referring to where she came from as, like, the real world. And if that is the case, then I will manifest inside the game and suplex her. Clear, unpolluted waters, overflowing with life. Just one more reason why Arcadia is both a vacationer's and environmental activist's wet dream. Literally. That crab is what the heck. Yeah. Uh, apparently I'm gonna have to help this crab shed its shell. It's the village of the giant crabs. Hey. Sounds like a great name for a B-movie. Village of the Giant Crabs. Village of the Giant Crabs. You'll scream with fear. It's a big statue. And the twist ending is like... carcinogen theory and like... Everything becomes a crab. Will you click-clack with excitement? You might. All right, what's off this way? The More top statues. Half of the statue depicts a big-mouthed creature calling out. 
You mean like you, April? The bottom half of the statue depicts a large eared creature listening intently. And the base of the statue? Depicts our next puzzle. It's a creature with large ears. It's a creature with a big mouth. You're a creature with a big mouth. It's a triangular hole, like a keyhole. All right, so obviously this rotates if you have the right thing to stick in it. It's a piece of the stone things disc do. I got from the Bonda people. Most things will rotate if you stick the right object in it. Yeah, April O'Neil, I made, I definitely made that joke a few times. Um, no, I don't think uh, we have whatever it takes to solve this. But trust me, most things will rotate if you stick a thing in it. All right, what's in this hole? It's a deep hole, more like a crevice, actually, caused by some kind of seismic activity. Is this God, a... It must be at least 50 meters down. The crevice widens out into a huge cave just below, and there's water at the bottom. This is, in fact, not a horror game. Uh, there was an attempt at something horrific a while back, and that's why I feel very comfortable saying this was not a horror game. That sure is a mountain. It's a huge volcanic mountain. Yes, it is. It's a volcanic mountain. A mountain volcano. A volcanic mountain that has volcanoes in it. That's it's what it is. It's the ruins of an old city. Um, anything else around here? Alright, well, let's try uh, lowering ourselves down there. Which we cannot do. Okay, that's fine. That's fair. Ah, we can tie the rope to this sapling, though. Good. I don't... It's, it's atmospheric. There we go. No, don't unt You're about to untie it, aren't you? You're untying it. You untied it. Okay. So I'm going to tie the rope to it again. And then, uh... Maybe we can descend it. Yeah. Let's head down into the cave. And see if there's a secret lair. What have we found? Now it's getting really dark over there. Nests. Big nests, once housing the elation, but now empty and in disrepair. Okay. There were supposed to be elations here, but uh, apparently they're not now. April's just gonna do her rock climbing off screen. Okay. That's fine. It's the remains of a stone structure that probably fell down here through the crevice. There's a piece amongst the rubble that looks like a bolt or a key. It's intact. Okay, cool. And uh, let's get her commentary on the water because. That's a Marum City. Yeah, okay. Anyway, we got a, uh, bulky sort of thing, which I'm 99% sure is going to be used to operate that, what's it, back over here. Uh, we did not get, hold on, did we not pick it up? April, honey, why didn't you pick up the thing you specifically noted was there? Alright, I have to click the hand on it. That was my fault. Now we can go back up. That was my fault. I She looked at it, but she didn't pick it up, and I should have picked it up. I'm currently her operator. Rubber duck puzzle was ridiculous. Oh, were you here for that? I didn't think it was particularly difficult. Alright, I wrote
rotate this. Oh boy, okay. I don't know what these symbols mean. Is there another rubber duck that isn't from the Nancy Drew game? Yes, there's a, uh, there is a rubber duck puzzle in this game. It didn't last very long. Uh, I'm told that's abnormal. Okay. It's a triangular hole, like a keyhole. Mm hmm we have a thing in it, April. Uh-huh, so there's a big gap there. What happens if we line the two gaps up? Big fat nothing. Okay. So... The top half of the statue depicts a big-mouthed creature calling out. The bottom half of the statue depicts a large-eared creature listening intently. So. It's a triangular hole, like a keyhole. A big-eared creature. Well, this looks like a big-eared creature. That's how I draw a big-eared creature. It's a triangular hole. Okay, yes, it's like a triangular a hole like a keyhole. Thank you. And, uh... Big-mouthed creature. What might... I am a big-eared creature. Oh my god, I am a big-eared creature. You're not incorrect. Um... I feel like I have to look and see what the, uh... Things on this broken half are. Hmm. Alright. Well, we've got another puzzle going. Uh. No, no. Let's put the key back in the socket and think about this. Like, earnestly. Uh. One thing that I feel I'm gonna have to do is figure out the, um... the blank spots on here. It would help if I knew the objective, that's true. Um... I'm getting a little bit used to this game not giving me objectives. So, uh... I don't know, let's see... Oh, wait, I have an idea. I have an idea. Let's, uh, no, let's just try... Dense no. jungle. Is Crow available? I guess he's not around. I should try again later. Alright, maybe I'm on the wrong screen. Maybe I have to be over by the ocean. But, uh, I feel like if Crow is present, he would probably be able to help out with, like, mapping the jungle. Is he on this screen, maybe? Yes, good. April! You're alive! You're here! You're... soaking wet! Where did you go? I thought you drowned. I was completely miserable! And the chicks on this island are so prissy. They don't even care for a kiss unless you're all settled down with a nest in your own territory. <laughs> I had a little adventure under the sea. Oh? I didn't know humans had gills. We don't. Well, I do. I think. At least I can breathe underwater now. Cool. Not as cool as being able to fly, of course, but still. Hey, does that mean you're a mermaid? Hardly. I don't have a tail. Don't sell yourself too short, April. Glad to see you haven't lost the gift of the gab, Crow. 
Lady, you have no idea how limited bird Twitter can be. It's all, hi this and here I am that, all damn day long. I haven't had a decent conversation in days. I want to subscribe to bird well, Twitter. you're making up for it now. I never know when you're gonna go AWOL on me again. Isn't that just Twitter? Uh, it could be. But, like, I want to subscribe to Bird Twitter. Like, specifically for the birds. Bird Twitter expanded the size of its limitations. Oh, good! Now there are even more limitations. What did you do after I saw you last? Well, it took a while, but I found land. Not this island, just a rock with a couple of trees, basically. But when I went back to tell you, you disappeared. I thought you'd gone bonkers from thirst and hunger and drowned yourself or something, so I decided I'd better find solid ground myself or I'd suffer the same fate. And then I found this place. Nice, isn't it? And the best part is, there are no hunters. Only a bunch of big crabs on the east side of the island and a volcano. I'm gonna walk around for a bit, Crow. I want to see the volcano. I'll just stay here and preen myself, thank you very much. Cool. Uh, can I go back into the jungle I'd get now? I'd lost if I just wander off into the jungle with no idea what the island looks like or where I'm heading. Hi, Dotharian. Okay, really, can you, uh, show me the what way... What can you tell me about the island, Crow? Only what I've been able to see from above. There's a volcano, dead I think, and lots of jungle. And yet, yes, and thank you for the raid. Speeches. Hello to Darian and company. I'd like to explore the jungle, but I'm afraid I'm going to get lost. Any ideas? Well, I could stay airborne and keep track of where you are. That way I could direct you if... Sorry, when you get lost. Sounds like a super plan, Crow. Let's go. There we go. Now I have a GPS. A grinning position system. Uh, now I can go to the volcano. Yes, good. That's where I want to be. The volcano. Oh, you're big. Hi, big. Um, and the rumbling. rumbling is much fiercer here, and the ground is really shaking. It's definitely seismic. It has got to be emanating from this volcanic mountain. I mean, it looks dead, but it must be about to wake up or erupt or something. Great! After surviving a shipwreck, being kidnapped by fishes, and learning to breathe in water, I'm about to die in a volcanic eruption? Isn't that ironic? Is the dialogue continuing to be as awful as it was before? Uh, if that's the way you feel, then yes. Because I don't think anything will make you happy. That's one mother of a tree. It's got to be at least a hundred meters tall. And what's that? Except in the possibly trunk? a different game, like although you've been pretty down on the dialogue of like every game I've played, so I'm not sure about that one. Hey, yeah, big mouth. Yeah, crawl into it. That's I don't think the animation here is synced right, and I'm gonna blame Scum VM on that one. Oh, it's a keyhole. Yeah, there's a Triforce down here. What a strange symbol. It's a small, eye-sized aperture with a crystal in it, like a lens. Maybe some kind of telescope? Yeah, the, um... The adjustment on Scum VM is... I think they're still fiddling with it. Can I use this stone key in any of these sockets? Yes! What does this do? It... What a strange symbol. Oh! What a strange symbol. Great! Ah, uh, I gotta write... Do I have to write these down? I... feel like I should probably write these down. I can see a statue on a cliff overlooking the sea. Oh, hello. I don't see anything interesting. Yeah, I see. Alright. I don't see anything interesting. I don't see anything interesting. Nothing, nothing, nothing. It's a statue just below a really tall tree. Okay, the S is a statue below a... 
Hold on a moment. I am just uh, unearthing my notebook from my desk old debris. Here it is. Let me just write this down. Uh, the F symbol. Below. What was it? Below a very tall tree? It's a statue just below a really tall tree. Oh, tree. Let's keep flipping through. I don't see anything interesting. Nothing? Somebody's looking back at me. Oh, wait. That's just my eye. The lens is turned into a mirror. Okay, so this means... This is like the big mouth. I gotta draw this symbol. It looks like something you'd find on a Roger Dean album cover. Um, I just gotta, uh, oh god, this is, I'm, uh, I am not an artist. I just wanna, just wanna, uh, that looks like a butt. And then if you draw a butt with wings, oh, never mind. Part of Silent Hill 4, they don't want you to be. Everyone seems to think this game is a horror game. I don't see anything interesting. Nothing there. It's a statue standing in the ruins of a city. Ruins of an ancient city. And this one is an arrow or possibly a dick. I don't know. Ancient. Uh, let's keep flipping. I can see a statue on Aha. a cliff overlooking And the, the rabbit sea. ears are a cliff overlooking. Overlooking? Overlooking. And then that did a new word. It's luppy luppy. Overlooking sea. Okay. So now I've got some symbols written down. And uh, I don't know what to do with those symbols. But someday, we'll figure it out. Let's grab this. How do I... How do I back out? How do I leave? There we go. Okay. So now what, April? That's a huge tree. There's a large object in the tree crown. A large object in the tree crown, okay. Uh, crow? I guess he's not around. I should try again later. Oh, all right. A large object in the tree. I would uh, like to be able to get at that, but whoop. Yep, er. I don't think I can. That's a huge tree. Okay. There's um, a large object in the tree crown. Go back out to the jungle. Can I go to any of those? Uh, oh, I can go to the tree directly. Dry twigs and sticks. Ow! Oh, hey, man. Shh. Who's there? Duh. Shut up. I know there's somebody there. I heard you. Is she gone? Nope. She's still around. Shut up, shut up, shut up. You won't come out, I'll just sit down here and wait. Sooner or later, you'll have to show yourself. Solar Eclipse! Oh my god! Ah! I hate this place. I so hate it, I can't even sit down without crushing the natives. Big person alert! What are you? What does it look like? Um, uh, a talking twig? We're stickmen. 
and you're an accident waiting to happen with your large, ungainly body and wobbly legs. Pikmin! Okay. Where do the Elation live? The Elation? I don't get the away guys from with you. wings? Up in the volcano. There's an old city in there. I think they're squatting. Do they have... I'm not sure they have flowers on their head. I'm not sure I can... I do think I could pick them up and throw them, though. And I'd like to pick them up and throw them in the ocean. What's that constant rumbling noise? Lady, you have no idea what we have to endure. All day, all night, that noise is just murder. It all started when Quaman, the quiet giant, would you believe that's what we used to call him, was banished by the Orowal from his perfect fishing place to some remote place in the forest. Whoa, information overload. Let's step back for a minute to fill in the details. I don't know, I'm kind of got it. Who's Quaman, the quiet giant? He's the scariest human we've ever seen. He stands tall as a mountain and uses whole trees for toothpicks. But he was the quiet type and reasonably gentle for a human. He'd spend his days out by the Olawal village, catching fish and frying fish and eating fish and looking out across the ocean dreaming about loose women or whatnot. How the hell do you know the phrase loose women? Who are the Orlowal? They're the crab-like creatures who live down by the sea. Ah, they're nice people, if a little crabby. And it's hard to understand what they're saying half the time. Why is the phrase loose women? That is a good question. Probably the same reason the crow is obsessed with sex. Uh, I, I think... When you're a game designer, and you're in a cold, sort of Nordic place, you don't really get out much. I'm just saying. What happened to get the quiet giant banished from that place? The Orowal got scared when he accidentally stepped on one of their young ones. He didn't do any real harm, but they banished him from their village nonetheless and told him to go far into the forest. Where's Kwama now? Somewhere in the forest east of here. We don't know where exactly. He went okay. there to get as far away from the aura wall as possible. So what does all this have to do with the rumbling noise? Oh, I was getting to that. If you just let me get a word in edgewise. I just had some questions is all. Anyway, Quaman is the brooding type. And he takes everything so to heart, he got instantly depressed and went to sleep. Hey, that's a mood. And what is he doing now? Still sleeping! That's the problem! But how long ago was it that the Orlowal banished him? The last full moon. Nearly 30 sunsets passed. He's been sleeping for a month? He was depressed. What do you want, lady? Once yeah, I got so miserable, mood. I slept for eight years. And let me tell you, those eight years were the happiest of my life. Yeah? Yeah, that sounds good. How can you sleep for eight years? Well, you close your eyes. How can you sleep for eight years? With these morons around? I'm not even going to answer that question. No, really. Eight years? Us stick men grow to be hundreds of years old. Eight years is nothing. Okay. I still don't understand what this has to do with the rumbling noise. See that statue over there? Sure. What's up with that? Back when the Dalmari lived on this island ages ago, they put these statues up all around the island so that they could speak with each other. You're kidding. So they're, like, telephones? Tell her what? I don't okay. know what that is. The thing is, these statues are all connected through magic. And when you speak into one, your voice flies through the air and comes out of another statue. But I still don't understand... You saw the big head up by the mountain? Yeah. Yes? 
That's the one they use to talk to everyone on the island, to warn people of storms or to hold evening prayer. It's connected to the statues as well. And Quaman is sleeping right next to a statue's ear. Okay. I get it. Resonance. He's snoring and the deep bass reverberating through the loudspeaker. The big head causes a resonance that vibrates the entire island. But can't you just wake him up? We don't know where he is. We're not much for exploring this forest. There's water and fire and monkeys. Monkeys like to play with sticks. We don't like monkeys. But can't you just, well, send your voice to his telef... statue to wake him up? There are four problems with that. Number one, all the statues have an assigned symbol, an identifying mark. But we don't know which his is. Second, most of the statues are broken in some way or another. What do you mean? Some statues can only talk to certain other statues. Some can't be spoken to, and some can't hear. Which makes it very oh, difficult to get okay. a connection through to where you want to send your voice. Number three, in order to use the statues, you need a key. We don't have it. We don't know where it is. And number four? We're stickmen, lady. What do you think? We don't know much about magic or magical devices. And, and... And what? Uh, we're not too smart, okay? There, I said it. We're not too smart. And when you look at Woody over there, who's pretty stupid by stickman standards, that's a pretty scary thought. Sorry, I asked. Okay, uh, I think I see exactly what we're going to end up doing for the rest of the chapter. Oh boy, okay. Um, I get an idea of what this statue is. I don't... I don't know which statue is which here. Uh, Alright. This one doesn't have an identifying mark I can easily see here. The bottom half of the statue depicts a creature listening, while the top part depicts a similar creature calling out. Yeah, I'm gonna have to, uh, figure that out. The symbols on each statue probably are the identifying marks. No, they're the routing. Um... Like, as far as I can tell, I'm going to have to... This is which one are you listening to? This is which one are you sending to? And it looks... I don't know uh, what the local address of this one is. See, under a big tree. Hold on. Under a big tree. The local one would be S, then. It would be the, uh... Be the S mark. Where is that on this? Yeah, I would set the one... Remember, he said that you have to be up in the, uh, up in the mouth to talk to specific ones. But I think you can use these as a relay station. Yeah, if I... Hmm. All right. I think there's just some damage to these statues is the problem. Uh, so if I set this to listen to itself and speak to the mouth, I should set up like a closed circuit. It's a triangular hole, like a keyhole. Can I cross-check between the ones? 
Are the symbols you have on this di on these discs in the same order? I have no idea. Um, okay, uvula, wobbly line, S. Alright, I will... I will go and check. Although I don't know why it matters what order they're in. I guess it matters what the what order they're in because that would allow me to uh, cross-reference and find the symbols that I don't have. Yeah. It's the bottom. Oh, that's the top. Uvula. Wobbly line, and then this one's broken. But, uh, it appears that they're in the same order. So, if I set this one to listen to the one on the beach... Or the one, uh, the one under the tree. This is, this is the one on the beach, isn't it? No, this is the one by the ancient city. This is the one by the ancient city. It's this might be, uh... Hole, like a keyhole. Yeah, I think the broken one there is S. And I gotta rotate it around again. I rotate it all the way back around again. Alright, so if I set this to that and uh, it's a triangular hole, like a keyhole. April, please stop telling me that. I swear. Yeah, I'm trying to set these to uh Listen roughly to each other. I'm I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna go back up to the uh, big step, big mouth, and see if I can uh, have a chat with anything. The broken one there is S. That's what I think. So yes. Can I operate this? God, that is such an awkward little animation. You're probably really not supposed to be able to see it, like, in that kind of detail. Okay, uh, put this in here. Let's see... I can send to that one, yeah. Statue just below a really tall tree. How that do I represents one of the statues come phone booths scattered about the island? All right, how do I actually speak into it though? Do I leave the key in and get out and no? Hmm. Alright, I'm going to take this with me. Right, not all of them can send to each other. God, I'm going to have to write down which ones can and can't send to each other. Something. There's going to be a lot of writing in this puzzle. Uh, I will use notepad, I think, instead of pen and paper. Oh, God, I can't, because i got to write it down. Hmm. All right, well, let's look around a little That's more. That's a no. huge tree. There's a large object in the tree crown. And then there's an object in the tree crown, which I can't do anything with. Maybe I can ask them about it now that they're done talking. Climb the tree, okay. It's a big wooden 
crossbow, I guess. I wonder who built it and what it's for. Crossbow? And restring it? No, all right. If I could somehow get across to that path on the other side, I'd probably be able to make my way into the Elation Village. Yeah? If I could, do you think if you I could can somehow do that? get across to that path on the other side, no, I'd I don't probably hope be I able asked. to make my way into the Elation Village. No, why did I ask? Why did I ask? Okay, I am uh, gonna have to write down the symbols and stuff. Um, Who built that big crossbow in the tree? I did. Well, I thought of it. And these two nincompoops gave a helping twig on the uh, manual side. All right, what is it? So they built it, and you supervised. Yep, but it's not done. There are still a few pieces missing before we can blast off for Luna. I'm sorry, what? Did you say blast off for Luna? That's what I said, Luna. As in the moon? The same. You intend to go to the moon using that... thing? Lunar cannon. And yes, that's the plan. You guys are loonies! That's the if idea. If by loonies you mean visionaries, then yes, yes we are. Luna twigs. How come you're not working on your lunar cannon now? Because of that infernal noise is why. So, if the noise stops, you'll go back to work on your cannon? That's the plan. That's the joke, is it? Because usually it's lunatics, not Luna Twigs. I've never heard anyone say Luna Twigs. How do I get into the volcano? You don't. The road collapsed a few centuries ago, and when traders come, the elation fly down to meet them. Nobody goes up there anymore. Okay. I'll see you guys later then. If you don't step on us first, All right. Honestly, uh, what I'm feeling right now is that I'm gonna have to run around and, uh, like, draw up all of the... all of the statues and what they connect to. Oh, how do I get to that one? It's another one of those magical public telephone statues. How do I get to the cliff? Good. So, yeah, what I'm feeling is that I'm gonna have to run around and, uh... Figure out which ones these all are and how I get... How I can connect to them and what they connect to. I can see clear to the bottom. This really is an excellent spot for fishing. Well, that's not what you're here for. Well, I mean, I'd be glad to go it's fishing. An old fireplace. Fireplace, can I? I don't think anything I have can actually light a fire. But I'm gonna have to write down, like, which places on these are broken. And, uh,. I'm basically going to have to map out the entire uh, connection path, is the thing. Like, what can connect to what, and... But he's somewhere in the jungle. I don't know...
It's a creature with a big mouth. I just you and I don't know how to use statues either. I don't know how to talk to them. The bottom part of the statue depicts a creature with large ears listening to something. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call the stream here. And uh over the next couple of nights I will I will start documenting. I will just uh start noting down what I can do with these. And uh hopefully when I come back I will I will have some idea about how to solve this puzzle. <laughs> Good luck with that. Yeah, thank you. Uh, that is gonna be a lot of... Well, my notebook is pretty big. I'm sure I can, uh, do something with it. Alright, I guess, uh, that's it. I, let me save. And, uh, man, I am going to have to do some routing, I guess. Because if you think of each statue as... Like, you can only use the statue on the volcano. To talk to them, allegedly. Or is that the only listening post? No, no, um... I'm starting to confuse myself, clearly. But, they said that... You talk to the statue... Up at the top, and it roots sound around the various statues. And uh, the one at the top is like it's let me see where. Four of them are connected. Below a tall tree. This is the mouth. The, uh, no, not this. Uh, that one is below a... The S symbol is below a tall tree. This is the local receiver. Somebody's looking back at me. Oh, wait. That's just my eye. The lens is turned into a mirror. That symbol represents one of the statues uh -huh. come phone booths okay. scattered about the island. Uh... This one is the ancient city. It's a statue standing in the ruins of a city. Right. And... This one is overlooking the sea. I can see a statue on a cliff so overlooking the So that's the one the where the crabs... Where, like, the crab city is. And I didn't see any other... I don't see anything interesting. I don't see anything interesting. I notice. Wait I don't a minute. see anything interesting. I don't see anything Why did interesting. it fill in? Why did it fill in? Okay, it just changes subtly. That's it's fine. a statue just below a really tall tree. All right. Yeah, I am gonna have to. Uh, I am gonna have to in my spare time take notes on the. On the routing of this. Get back to everybody. Uh, I'm, I'm, so, I'm sorry. I should have ended the stream about five minutes ago. So, um. Let me just resave here. Quit out. Uh, quit out completely. And I will just take a quick glance. Is anyone streaming? Uh, no. Nobody is streaming that... I would want to pass over to 
at the moment. All right. Okay. Well, I will figure that out. I will, uh, I'm gonna have to write down so much. All right. Well, puzzle notes time. Yeah. God, I need a sandwich. <laughs> uh, thank you all for showing up. Enjoy your, um, afternoons? Yeah, afternoons. Enjoy your afternoon slash evenings, whatever it is. And, uh, I will see you again once this bizarre puzzle shit is worked out. Have fun!